Kita bosa saya si Kwanu kwa piti saya si Rafu ya bosa saya si Kuzi na pita tuzi na omega tuzi na alfa saya si The Science Foundation College in Namavu kwe jinja Ngo ingi la kilomite mm. So minuli ya dene boarding Eli haba wala naba lenzi Ku olevo tusomisa arts ni sciences Ate elevo tusomisa sciences zoka Omwana mletu ku The Science Foundation College Fetu singo kusomisa sciences Okumanya visinga o Kwa ku 0 musambu 5 satu Chinana Abili musambu 0 muinda The Science Foundation College Best on sciences And best for sciences is a teacher at the Science Foundation College, the best school that teaches sciences. At A level, we teach sciences only. At all level, we teach arts and sciences. Today, we are going to study factors affecting equilibrium constants Kp and Kc. They include temperature, concentration, pressure, and their catalyst. The effect of these factors on equilibrium is explained quantitatively by Rochetarius law or Rochetarius principle. States that if a system in equilibrium is subjected to a change, processes occur which tend to oppose the change imposed. Or if the concentration of one of the reacting substances is altered, the equilibrium will shift in such a way to oppose the change in the concentration. Effect of temperature on equilibrium, this depends on whether the reaction is endothermic or exothermic. Endothermic reaction is absorb heat, delta H is positive. Exothermic reaction is release energy, delta H is negative. For exothermic reaction, for example, ammonia decomposes into nitrogen and hydrogen after absorbing energy. For this reaction, increasing temperature will shift equilibrium from left right. Increasing temperature supplies enough energy to decompose ammonia into nitrogen and hydrogen. So the equilibrium position will shift from left to right. So we are talking about the position this time from left to right. Then since the product increase and the reactant decrease, the value of Kp or Kc increase. Then finally it increases the rate of attainment of equilibrium by increasing the kinetic energy of the molecules and the rate of collision. B, it increases the rate of attainment of equilibrium by supplying activation energy. Activation energy is the minimum energy required by the reactants to react. We shall see this one in chemical kinetics. For example, reactions such as nitrogen plus hydrogen will give sure ammonia. The rotor is negative, so the reaction is exothermic. Increasing temperature will shift equilibrium from right to left. Increasing temperature favors a reaction which absorbs heat. So if the forward reaction is exothermic, the backward reaction is automatically endothermic. So increasing temperature will shift equilibrium from right to left. When equilibrium shifts from right to left, it reduces the amount of the product and lowers the value of Kc or Kp. Three, Increasing temperature increases the rate of attainment of equilibrium or the rate of reaction by increasing the, the kinetic energy and the rate of collision of particles for any reaction to take place. 
particles must collide. Then B, by supplying activation energy. Activation energy is the minimum energy required by the particles to react. And it should be noted that only change in temperature can alter the values of Kc or Kp. Changes in other factors would not. For example, changes in concentration, pressure, or a catalyst will not change the value of Kc or Kp. So the question will ask you to talk about the effect of a factor on the position of equilibrium. The position is shifting from left to right or right to left. Or it may ask you how a given factor affects the value of Kc. It can either increase the value of Kc or lower the value of Kc. The question may require you to explain how a factor may affect the rate of attainment of equilibrium. Either it increases the rate of attainment of equilibrium or lowers the rate of attainment of equilibrium. Effect of concentration on equilibrium. One, it has no effect on the value of Kc or Kp. Then two, increasing or decreasing the concentration of either the products or the reactant brings about opposite change in the concentration. For example, for reaction where A goes to B and is at an equilibrium, increasing the concentration of B, the equilibrium shifts from right to left to decrease the concentration of B. Increasing concentration of A will shift the equilibrium from left to right to decrease the concentration of A. Decreasing the concentration of A will shift the equilibrium from right to left to increase the concentration of A. Decreasing the concentration of B will shift the equilibrium from left to right to restore the concentration of B. Three, increasing the concentration increases the rate of reaction by increasing the rate of collision. At high concentration, the molecules are close together and therefore they collide more frequently. Remember, any reaction to take place, there must be collision. Effect of pressure on equilibrium. Pressure has no effect on the value of Kc and Kp, like a concentration, like a catalyst. It has no effect on a non-gaseous system because liquids and solids are not compressible. Fili has no effect on a gaseous system where there is no change in the number of moles as the reaction proceeds from left to right. For example, in this reaction, two moles of the reactant produce two moles of the product. There is no change in the number of moles as the reaction moves from left to right or from right to left. Then if four pressure favors the reaction that produces fewer moles of a gas. For example, one mole of nitrogen reacts with three moles of hydrogen to produce two moles of ammonia. In other words, four moles of the reactants produce two moles of the product. Increasing pressure in this case will shift the equilibrium from left to right. Decreasing pressure will shift equilibrium from right to, to left. Five, increasing pressure increases the rate of reaction by increasing the rate of collision of particles. High pressure will push particles closer and therefore increases the rate of collision. Example one, Carbon monoxide reacts with steam according to the following equation. Carbon monoxide plus steam, you get carbon dioxide plus hydrogen. State giving reason is how the concentration of carbon dioxide would be affected at equilibrium 
if the temperature is increased. When the temperature is increased, D, the reaction is exothermic from the value, from the negative value there, shows that the reaction is, is exothermic. So increasing temperature shifts equilibrium from right to left, reducing the concentration of carbon dioxide. One, since the reaction is exothermic, increasing Since the action is exothermic key, increasing temperature will shift equilibrium from right to left, lowering the concentration of carbon, carbon dioxide. Two, pressure is increased. Since the reaction has got the same number of moles of a gas on either side of the, the reaction, Increasing pressure will not affect the concentration of carbon dioxide. Concentration of carbon dioxide is not affected since there is no change in moles of a gas from left to right. So two, pressure is increased. The concentration of carbon dioxide will not change because the equal moles of a gas on either side of the equation. Or there is no change in the mole of a gas as the reaction proceeds from left to right. Then Fili, Fili, in that gas is added at a constant temperature. So it has no effect. Has no effect on concentration of carbon dioxide since inert gas inert gas does not take part in the reaction and the temperature is constant. Example 2. During the manufacture of sulfuric acid, sulfur dioxide is oxidized to sulfur 6 oxide according to the equation. Sulfur dioxide plus oxygen is equal to sulfur 6 oxide. Delta H is negative 188 kJ per mole. 1. Set the effect on the yield of sulfur, 6 oxide, if 1, temperature is increased, 2, pressure is decreased, 3, concentration of sulfur dioxide is increased. You can pause, answer, and then compare your answer with mine. 1. A. Set the effect on the yield of sulfur 6 oxide if 1 
temperature is increased, the yield of sulfur trioxide will decrease, or the yield of sulfur six oxide will decrease because the reaction is exothermic, increasing temperature shifts equilibrium from right to left, leading to decomposition of sulfur six oxide. Two, two, pressure is decreased. The yield of sulfur six oxide decreases because the back of the reaction proceeds is increasing with the number of moles of gas. High pressure favors the reaction which produces fewer moles of a gas. Low pressure favors the reaction which produces more moles of a gas. These are three moles. Here we have two moles. So increase the decreasing pressure shifts therefore decreasing pressure shifts equilibrium from right to left leading to decomposition of sulfur six oxide. Then spherin, the concentration of sulfur dioxide is increased. When the concentration of sulfur dioxide is increased, the equilibrium will shift from left to right, leading to production of more sulfur six oxide, increasing the concentration of sulfur dioxide shifts equilibrium from left to right, leading to production of high concentration of sulfur six oxide. Example three, phosphorus five chloride decomposes at high temperature according to the following equation. Phosphorus five chloride decomposes to phosphorus three chloride plus chlorine. State how the value of equilibrium constant, we are looking at equilibrium constant, would be affected in each case. Give a reason for your answer. If the pressure was increased, one, no effect, because pressure doesn't affect the value of equilibrium constant, because pressure does not affect the value of equilibrium constant. State how the value of equilibrium constant would be affected and in each case give a reason for your answer. If one the pressure was increased, no effect because the pressure does not affect the value of equilibrium constant. Some chlorine was removed, no effect on the value of case C because the concentration has an effect on the value of equilibrium. Example for manganese sulfide react with acids according to following equation. Manganese sulfide plus hydrogen ions, you get manganese ions plus water plus hydrogen sulfide. Instead of giving a reason what would happen to equilibrium if one water is added to the mixture. Two, hydrochloric acid is bubbled into equilibrium mixture. Three, the pH of equilibrium mixture is increased. You can pause, then you compare your answers with mine. One, what does it add to equilibrium mixture? The equilibrium will shift from right to left to reduce the amount of water added. Then the two, hydrochloric acid is bubbled to the, into equilibrium mixture. Hydrochloric acid supplies hydrogen ions, so equilibrium will shift to the right to reduce the hydrogen ion is added. Then if it is, the pH of the mixture is increased. Increasing pH means the removal of hydrogen ion. So the equilibrium shifts from right
to left to restore the hydrogen ion is removed. Thank you very much. Your attitude has been Dr. Bosa Sayas. The next lesson is going to be ionic equilibrium. That is to do with pH, Ka, Kb, buffers, and so on. Every time you watch these videos and you don't understand, make sure you watch over and over. You write the notes, you'll be able to understand. After all, there is no alternative.